All right, we're going to take a quick look at how we um, we're getting the tree view to Microsoft's tree view to respond and return its values in JavaScript. And so I'll kind of show you what it looks like first. Um, what I have mentioned are the two text boxes. I have one here, and they're just places for me to throw values. You could do whatever you want with the values. And um, the tree view is right down here. We'll actually show adding a node to it really quickly in the database. But um, you know, when I select uh, one of the top level options, it's not going to do anything. It doesn't uh, return any values. That's one of the um, at a top level node. I fill the navigate URL. Um, property with uh, just the pound symbol so it doesn't do anything I can't expand it you know um, but then I can go down and select one of these items and it's going to return the text of that item into this box and then the actual underlying ID number from the database and the job number um, I, I concatenate and return to this field so let's take a look at how that's done so first on the um, form side, I add these two fields, just a simple text box, field selected, and field job info. And then we have this JavaScript function, um, which is in the, in the blog entry that I've done. And basically it just it could be anything, but it's just, um, I also include my jQuery library up here, but um, it's called tree select and it takes tr three values. I have it passing the job uno. Um, which is the unique key for that job number, the job number itself, and the job name. And then um, using the jQuery selector, um, I can select that field and stuff the value of the job name in there. I also um, create a string value called string data, and I say job ID equals the job uno, and the number is, and the job number. And then I take that and I stuff it into um, the second text box. So you can see those here on this form. And that's, once again, how these values can then flow into the respective fields. So pretty simple. Um, on the ASP side of things, um, where I build the database, and I have this code um, in its entirety on the other blog entry that I've linked to, but you can see where I create the child node, and what I've copied into the text, I, I create the node um, object, and I create these very pull these variables from the database, and then on the navigate URL, I put in the string JavaScript colon tree select, and I concatenate sending the values to that string, and that's what causes the Microsoft Tree View to um, not do a post back, but just return this or run this um, JavaScript. So if we go to now look at the database, if we wanted to add a new value in here, we could say um, our test value. And we can call the project number or job number is what I'm referring to there. Um, the job number, we could call it 2050. And we could make it a um, subnode of, for instance, the hotel rooms, which has the project you know of four. So we're going to put that four in there. So now when we go back to look at our code and I rebuild the tree view, there's our test value, which is under hotel rooms. And when I select that, that value now populates those fields. So that's how you can use the Microsoft Tree View and use JavaScript to um, limit uh, the postbacks and retrieve the values necessary for whatever form you're using. Hopefully you find that helpful. Um, if you do, let me know if you have questions. Um, love to answer them. Thanks.